Hey, what is up, guys? Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. Are we about to get weapon skins in the game? This right here is possibly an unintentional reveal of what we're gonna get soon. Now, let's go into the game and look at the patch notes and see what it's all about. If you get in the game and click on the mailbox icon on the top left, you will get the patch notes from the previous updates. If you read again 080, in the new features section and you scroll to the bottom you see the last thing that was added is secret gear and customizations ready for upcoming events so when they update the game they put stuff in the game for the future it's in the game already but it's not revealed yet for example the valentine emote that we kind of saw uh, on the previous video probably is in the game is just waiting to be released on the next event but what the hell is customizations because it could be a lot of stuff secret gear and customizations so the thing that happens is sometimes they put stuff in the game for the future but maybe there was an error and something was revealed already people were pretty quick to spot one of these unintentional reveal the gameplay you see right here, believe it or not, is the Big Eagle Storm. Yeah, the AR that we've been playing with for a long time. Uh, it didn't take long. The, the day of the update, uh, people who usually play with the Big Eagle spotted it already. And there was some posts on Discord and Facebook about it. I did play with the Big Eagle on stream because I wanted to see. And there was a lot of comments in the chat. What is this weapon never seen before? Yeah, of course, if you don't play with the Big Eagle or if you haven't played with in a while, you probably didn't notice the change. But what I'm thinking is they input in the game already some skins for some weapons that we don't know yet. And by mistake, maybe this one was already uh, revealed or it was already on. But probably it shouldn't be like that. And it's pretty tough to spot if there are others already. Because if you equip the weapon, you see... Uh, the usual the skin that is supposed to be on the big eagle storm the blue yellow and red now even if you walk into the hub with the big eagle on your bike you will see the same old big eagle storm that you're used to see we had this for 10 months so the thing is you have to actually play with it and when you get in the game then you will see the difference we don't know if there are others like that someone asked on stream in the chat what about the other Big Eagle weapon? What about the SMG or the shotgun? I said, I don't know because I don't even have them. But you guys will tell me. If you try the other Big Eagle weapons, uh, the Skull Blasters, the Nordic Guard set, or whatever unique epics that you still have, take a look at it. Let me know in the comments if you find anything else. Maybe there are others. But I would think after about a week, probably we would know now but still i think it's an interesting idea and there's a lot of potential i've read different comments about it some guys say i would rather have a completely different weapon with maybe the same stats but a different name so at least i have something to hunt something to chase but again i ask what about if you can chase skins what about if you can drop skins in dungeons like legendary loot or rare loot that you have to farm to drop the skin that would be an idea right that could also be event rewards that you have to buy let's say this is a limited time only skin uh you like a lot of people complain about the event rewards right that is just reskin weapons new weapons that are not really special or cosmetics that is just a reskin of another cosmetic well what about if you grind the event resource and you can buy skins instead of cosmetics or something like that. Well, that could be an idea also, right? I always thought it would be awesome to have legendary skins. Imagine if you can reskin your Nico or reskin your Slate Shitstorm or whatever legendary you like to use. That is also nice because, I mean, right now, a lot of people use the same weapons. The amount of good legendaries is limited and in PvP, People only play legendaries pretty much because they have a little hidden buff. So everyone used Nico or Faraday or something like that. So it would be nice to have a little uh, diversity with the skins. Now there's still the problem of inventory space. It's been at 200 for a long time now. It's hard to collect stuff. 
Uh, they keep releasing new legendaries. They release new cosmetics, new paint, new camos. And we are full now and this is a problem. Well, there's always a solution to every problem. I don't know if you guys ever played Unkilled. I started playing Unkilled about a month ago. In Unkilled, the way they do it is when you click on a weapon, you will have a selection of all the skins available and you see the skins that you already unlocked. So you can just click on your weapon and select the skins that you want to equip. So if they can find a way to do it like that in Shadowgun Legends, it would not take extra inventory space. You would just click on your weapon, select the skin and equip. And then every weapon would have their different skins available in the game. And you would just have to go and try to collect them all. You would have a chance to preview all the skins also, which is amazing. And you can find the ones that you like and start hunting for them. So the possibilities are endless and I'm super anxious to see what they're going to do with that. And I could be totally off by the way. Maybe we won't get skins, but there are reasons to think that we might get skins soon. And maybe they're already in the game. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what customizations mean. But let me know in the comments how you like the idea. And you might also maybe guess right now, yes or no, are we getting skins really soon in Shadowgun Legends? Fingers crossed. Now I'm gonna open that box because I don't know if you saw in the gameplay. I was just recording random gameplay and I dropped a strong box. Probably I have everything already. So we might get Pedro tokens. If we do, I'm gonna spin that wheel twice. There you go, Pedro tokens. I have pretty much everything available in these boxes already. Uh, I keep my paint buckets. Roll one. Uh, paint can holo. Alternate blue. Let's decode. As if by magic. Still. All right. That's it already for today's video. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite weapon in the game that you would like to reskin. And fingers crossed, I got a good feeling about it, but we never know. I could be totally wrong once again. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I'll be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.
extraction unit to SG. Coming low and fast for a hostile extraction. Be ready, sir. 